hi guys welcome to sql server reporting services tutorial series in this video i'm going to show you how to create a string parameter drop down report in my last video i showed you how to create an integer parameter drop down report like this if i click 18 it will show me the product name which have the product id 18 uh, similarly this uh, now i will uh, show you how to create a drop down which shows product names in in the drop down yeah, so in order to create the the report you need to go to solution explorer right click on report add new item okay string param drop down report okay now first we need to create a data source add data source share data source underscore string drop down as you know uh, that I am far from past few tutorials I am using share data source connection in this video also I will be using share data source click ok ok now we need to create a data set data set as string drop down now select the data source which we have created just few seconds back and select query designer now here choose the tables click on the add table icon and select the tables or details orders products okay click add at company name gt products then product name product id okay i want to display the reports based on product name so i will be using product name as a filter here product name as soon as I enter okay sorry I forgot to add at symbol okay cool at product name okay as soon as I enter I will see a uh, um, I will get a criteria in my query you can see where product dot product name equals to this parameter it means it's filtering out the records based on the parameter as product name now click ok click ok again and okay as you um, if you uh, if you have seen my last video where i have shown how to um, display product id into your drop down where I had used a different data set to display product IDs into my drop down. Similarly to that, here also we need to create an another data set to display product names. Okay, we cannot use this data set to display product names into our drop down. Okay. So let us create an another data set, right click data sets and then click on add data set. Data set product name use the embedded connection and select the data uh, share data connection select the table as products add product name and product id select ok click ok here in this data uh, set i will be passing product id as a value and i am showing product name to the users okay let, let me first create a table and drag values to into our table product name company name quantity and unit price okay let me just increase the uh, width of the table and let me give some background color to it and let me make it as bold and white as a color okay 
and you can see as soon as I added a filter into my query SQL Server has created a parameter uh, uh, with the same name uh, by which I had created the filter now you need to customize your parameter properties please select the select the product name uh, okay but here you need to uh, as as uh, as i said in just a few seconds back that i am passing an integer value to my backend so that's why i'm using integer data type and come to your available values get the value select get the values from a query it means i am using this data set this data set query as you know it has a query uh, in the background that uh, query I'm using here to get the uh, data on the drop down so select the data set as product name and as I said you before I'm passing an integer value that's the product ID as a value and I'm showing product name that's the string one uh, to the user so click OK and let's view the report you can see I'm getting all the reports here sorry all the product items in my drop down if I select Alice Mutton and view the report okay showing me the error cannot read the next data okay I got the it's a data type issue um, see here I am uh, in my parameter list I am uh, passing an integer value to my database but in this query I haven't uh, done the uh, let me show you first query see here the filter is product name but it should not be product name although um, user is selecting the user uh, selecting the product name as a filter but at the background uh, the product ID which is associated with the product name will passed um, will get passed to the database and uh, with that product ID the associated product names will get displayed so instead of passing a product name as a filter we need to pass product ID that was a mistake which I had made okay now you can see I have got product ID in my criteria click OK now come to your report and select any product now you can see and a seed please select the product name ok showing the wrong results let's see what's the issue let's change it to product name okay close to at product name and click ok and come here parameter properties select text okay, available values product name and product name click ok come here and if you select any product and click here you will see any seed syrup and if I select chai you will get chai ok this is how you can create a report Okay, here I am passing uh, string uh, to the backend to filter the records. Okay, guys. I hope you understand the concept. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.